Hey, it's Stu, AG6AG. You know, I found a bunch of video that I had shot a while back uh, of me using an SDR as a pan adapter. And I thought it'd be cool to edit it together and figure out a way to show you how much fun it is to use an SDR pan adapter as a tool to do search and pounce during a contest. Uh, the contest this was shot with was the IARU uh, international event, and uh, I had a great time. But the most important thing I want you to watch is how easy it is to move around and look at the frequency area that you're dealing with and being able to jump right on those people calling CQ. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. All right, well, this is sort of interesting because um, what we're going to be doing here, what I'm doing, is I'm going to use the mouse. I'm going to jump around, clicking to change frequencies, and then transmit. Looks like, here we go. Alpha Golf 6, Alpha Golf. QSL, please copy 5906. There's my QSO. Now, I look and I click over and I'm listening. I'm listening. I don't hear anything. I'm going to get impatient and move right here. There I go. Now, if I had been a little bit more patient, I might have heard something. Rotating back, I'm dialing it in, entering the call sign. Waiting for it. Here I go. Alpha Golf 6, Alpha Golf. Not that time. Alpha Golf 6, Alpha Golf. Alpha Golf 6, Alpha Golf. QSL, please copy 596. Thank you, K4 Alpha right. Bravo. Looking Alpha around. We'll do another one. Notice how far I jump. So, this is a real advantage of the pan adapter. And with the SDR stuff, it's really easy to do. Well, hope you enjoyed the uh, video there. I was glad to be able to edit that kind of together so we could show what it's like to actually work with an SDR as a pan adapter. Maybe in the next video I might be setting it up and getting it so you can go ahead and transmit and not blow up your SDR. That was my hardest obstacle. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Stu, Alpha Golf 6 Alpha Golf, saying 73. Hope to hear you out on the air.